with change comes figuring out your new role, your new routine. And I think that's been sort of the hardest part of it for me is I'm trying to be a little bit of everything for everyone because I do work for the Today Show still and Access Hollywood and I do two shows for Access Hollywood and then the occasional Dateline. So I feel like there's a lot on my plate. So I'm trying to juggle a lot and be a mom and a wife. There are days that are gonna be killer and I've learned that, and so you just kind of try to space them out, and then there are other days where that's my day to go home and make dinner and sit down as a family, and I think it's just really important to have more days like that and less days that are killer. I think like all juggling parents, it's just figuring out, okay, I'm gonna need a lot of help on one day and asking for help and be willing to like get people to prop you up on days that you need it. I grew up as an Air Force brat, moving every couple of years, and I think if it's one thing that I've learned in my experience, it, it makes you stronger, it makes you better at you know, making friends, at just being able to function in life. I think you have to shake it up a little bit every now and again. You know, I think curiosity comes with just having traveled and lived and experienced places and having met people with different backgrounds and cultures. And I think that opened me up as a journalist to you know, when I meet people, I like to know their stories. I don't necessarily care about what they do for a living. I like to know how did they become that person? Who are they? And so it's always that discovery. I think that's what inspires me most, is hearing how people have found themselves. There is opportunity in every corner. I always had this dream in, in mind of coming out to California. My husband and I, we always talked about it, and we always thought to raise our kids in a, in a place like this. And I remember when I used to fly in, I used to be on a, you know, out coming out to California like every week for a time there. I was in California more than I was in New York or New Jersey. And so there was a time where I could really see I was sort of living a bi-coastal life doing stories out here anyway. And I just imagined, what would my life be like if we lived there? What would that be like for the kids? Would we be happy there? So I just kind of put it out there in the cosmos. I think you kind of have to say, Hey, I'm open to this, raise your hand, and if you guys think that there's an opportunity to do something like this, think about me, put me in that job. I took it to my bosses and they liked the idea, so here I am. I think you have to put yourself in that position first. Think about it enough, and if you want it enough, I think somehow you will find a way to make it happen.